The devastating Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant disaster in Japan has raised questions as to whether Japan and other parts of the world should really be using nuclear energy. Well, joining me now to discuss this, Nobuo Tanaka. He recently stepped down as the head of the International Energy Agency. Thanks very much for being with me. We still think of what happened in Japan mm -hmm. earlier this year. Mm -hmm. We've seen the images of it. Should Japan be weaning itself away from nuclear energy as a result? Well, as a result, there are lots of concern about the safety of the nuclear reactors public in Japan. It is quite natural that uh, safety is the issue number one. And uh, how to get back to the normality and cleaning up, uh, shutdowns, uh, and these are the things happening in the Japanese government. But nuclear power is a very important part of the option for the energy security and also sustainability. So you wouldn't recommend that Japan move away at all from nuclear energy? Not at all. I mean, exactly. I mean, nuclear is a very important part of the game. And uh, in fact, I asked the same question to many ministers who gathered in IEA ministerial meeting last, year, uh, last week in Paris. Nobody asked me, well, nobody asked Japan to give up nuclear. But they want us to continue with much more safer operations, safer technologies, safer regulation. So the lesson which we are going to learn from the Fukushima incident is a very important information for everybody to make nuclear power safer. What would be the right mix from Japan? Should they maybe move to some other sources of energy to have a safer and better mix? Definitely. I mean, uh, Japan is moving toward more the renewable energy, solar, wind. They didn't use substantially these powers yet. Should they increase those powers? Definitely. Then? It's their original plan, but they have to do much faster investing and making the for, for, for example, the uh, supporting measures like feed-in tariffs are going to be implemented very soon. So they are on the way to increase these uh, renewable energies. But all options of power is important, like gas, like renewables, maybe coal with carbon capture and storage, and nuclear. You talk about the safe use of nuclear power. What about for developing countries? And here I'm thinking of China, mm -hmm in particular, is it still quite risky for China to be developing its nuclear power? Well, China has already several nuclear power plants, but as you say, Japan's concern is that China is a neighboring country. Uh, Russia, Korea, India, in these four countries will uh, construct 80% of the nuclear reactors in coming years, That by the sounds way. worrying, actually. Yeah, well, it is worrying, but at the same time, it is inevitable because this country needs nuclear power for, its, for their economic growth because it's cheap, it's less uh, carbon intensive, and for security. And the technology is already there. So the issue is how to make or how to, to make them operate safely. So Japanese lesson from Fukushima will help them. And uh, I think that to share the, this information lesson is a very important uh, obligation uh, Japan can do to the global community. So, in sum, you're in favor of nuclear power around the world? Definitely. If Japan gives up uh, nuclear power, it's suicidal because we don't have any self-sufficient uh, resources of fossil fuel. Renewables should come. Our our what's like, grid interconnection is very poor, so we need to prepare. Germany can do it because it is connected to their neighbors by the grid line pipelines. Japan do not have the same kind of let's say, situation, so we have to prepare for the future. We'll leave it on that note. Nobuo Tanaka, thanks very much for joining Most me welcome. today. Nobuo Tanaka there. I'm Tara Joseph. This is Reuters.